QMixers send and respond to MIDI messages to and from a Mac computer via the rear panel USB B port. For door control applications, the custom layer can provide 16 or 24 MIDI strips whose faders and keys can be assigned or learned in your door. You can also convert these into popular Huey or Mackie control protocols using the Allen & Heath door control driver, as shown later in this video. Go to the home screen and make sure you are running firmware version 1.20 or higher. Use the setup control MIDI screen to set the mixer MIDI channel number. Q defaults to channel 2 for door control. Go to setup control custom layer and assign as many faders as you want to MIDI strips. To assign a range, touch button 1, turn the rotary until it displays MIDI, then press the function key to quickly set the other strips for door control. Download the door control driver from the Allen & Heath website and install this on your Mac. You can set door control to automatically load at login by adding the application to OSX System Preferences, User and Groups, Login Items. Once launched, an A&H icon will be displayed in the top status bar. Click on it and choose Show Preferences to access the configuration panel. Select the MIDI channel as set in the mixer. Select MIDI ports for USB connection. Then select the QMIDI input and output ports. Depending on your door, select the protocol to use. For example, select Huey for use with Pro Tools. In Pro Tools, enable door control in the input devices menu. Then set up two or three Huey devices in the MIDI controllers window depending on your mixer. With door control MIDI ports set as shown. You'll notice that the Q faders, path alt mute and select keys are now mapped to the door and follow any stored automation. A similar procedure should apply to other doors providing they support either Huey or Mackie control. Instructions specific to a number of doors are available on our website.